All right, so this is your 90 degree shoulder tantrum um, or just a rotator cuff tantrum. So what we've got here, I've got some bands set up on this rack. What we're trying to do is create some rapid concentric and eccentric contractions at the rotator cuff, right? So we're gonna get into a 90 degree position. I've got two bands on this rack, so it's a little hard, to, it might be a little hard to see, but I've got a thicker band and I've got a thinner band, all right? So a little bit different band tensions here. If we're gonna try to eccentrically load uh, our rotator cuff, especially uh, posteriorly, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get one band in front of the hand and we're gonna leave the rest of them behind, okay? So I've just got one thick band here. We're getting that band in 90 degrees. We're gonna slap that hand into those thicker bands and it's gonna load up and force me to rapidly eccentrically contract as it comes forward, okay? So it's gonna be pretty rapid motion. It's called a tantrum because it looks kind of fast and kind of rapid and a little kid throwing a tantrum. All right, so throwing that hand back in that position, okay? We're getting this movement here where it's forcing forward. I'm eccentrically contracting that rotator cuff. We can go the opposite way and now we've got that band behind us so we're pushing in. Same thing, so now we're getting the anterior shoulder, that front of that shoulder, okay? Be able to slap in that position. It's shoving that hand back, keeping it in line. You've got to rapidly contract on the anterior side of that shoulder, to, or at least the eccentric contraction. All that is is a shoulder. Um, all that is is a shoulder tantrum. Now, if you don't have bands like this, all you have to do. So, if you don't have uh, a band or a band situation, be able to band up that shoulder tantrum on a rack. If you've got a yoga ball, you can do this on a wall. It's pretty similar as effect-wise. All we're doing though is getting that elbow into 90 degrees just like we did with that tantrum on the rack. You want it a little bit higher, you're gonna put some pressure into the wall and all you're doing is bouncing that hand off the back of that yoga ball and moving it fast, right? It sounds a little bit funny because that ball is reverberating but all you're trying to do is slam the back of that hand into the ball and be able to move forward, right? We can actually do this on the other side. We can kind of keep that elbow up right, and slap that ball in the front, right? Kind of a weird position, kind of a weird way to do that tantrum. Very similar effect though. So if you don't have bands to do that band and tantrum at the 90 degrees, all you gotta do, get a yoga ball, get up against the wall, backhand it, slap it forward. All it is, is your banded tantrum or substitute yoga ball shoulder tantrum.